Chemical injury is the most common cause of a corneal burn, with other potential sources being thermal and ultraviolet insults. Chemical injuries to the eyes occur in the home, industrial setting, farm and other sites. Chemical injuries from assaults represent approximately 11% of chemical injuries and tend to result in severe injuries. In general, immediate irrigation with sterile saline solution, or tap water, if a sterile saline solution is not available, should be started as soon as possible. Then, a thorough history and physical examination can take place. The chemical agent should be identified, if possible. The OSHA Chemical Identification Standard Data CISD or SDS, will identify the chemicals, toxicity, and possible treatment, if it is available. Otherwise, the Poison Control Center may be able to provide this information. Both eyes should be thoroughly examined since 42% of injuries are bilateral. Acid and alkali agents can be assessed by pH testing of the agent or the affected tissue. Alkali injuries tend to be more severe than acid injuries because alkali agents are hydrophilic and lipophilic, causing them to rapidly damage cell walls and penetrate ocular tissues deeper. Chemical solvents, such as acetone, which has a neutral pH, have been reported to cause corneal stem cell damage after being used to remove cosmetic eyelash extensions. The major settings in which acid injuries occur are, laboratories, industry, and the home, while the most common acids involved in ocular injuries, in order of prevalence, are sulfuric, nitric, hydrochloric, and oxalic acid. Automobile batteries release sulfuric acid when they explode. Hydrofluoric acid tends to cause more severe injuries due to its increased tissue penetration and the added effect of its fluoride ions. The penetration of acids is reduced by ocular tissue as the acid causes protein precipitation and denaturation, which acts as chemical buffer. If the limbal stem cells are damaged, the long-term prognosis is poor and is related to the number of clock hours of the limbus affected and the degree of total stem cells lost. Direct acid-related tissue damage, secondary inflammation, and fibrosis can result in secondary glaucoma and cataract formation. Alkali injuries are generally more severe than acid injuries because of their lipophilic effects and their ability to penetrate the cornea through saponification of cell membrane components which results in cellular destruction. Alkali is a common cause of ocular chemical trauma. Sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide are a few of the most common alkali agents involved in ocular injuries. Common household items containing alkali agents are bathroom cleaners, plaster, lye, lime, cement, and ammonia. The OSHA Chemical Identification Standard Data CISD or SDS, will identify the chemicals, toxicity, and possible treatments, if it is available. Both eyes should be thoroughly examined. Chemical burns should generally be irrigated with sterile saline solution or ringer's lactate. Treatment should begin immediately and start with irrigation of the ocular tissues to dilute, neutralize and remove the acid or base, which reduces the extent of tissue damage. Irrigating solutions differ in their ability to effectively normalize the pH. Because water is hypotonic it diffuses through the de-epithelialized cornea and is not as effective as other irrigating agents with higher osmolarity. However, water is useful when other irrigating solutions are not available. If available, solutions with buffering capacity are preferred, Previn, Defoderine, or Cedarroth eye wash solution are superior in balancing the pH, based on testing with experimental models. Irrigation should last at least 15 minutes with at least 1000 ml of irrigation solution with confirmation of normalization of the pH with litmus paper strips and a secondary pH test 10 minutes later to confirm neutralization of the acid or base. A Morgan lens, or similar device, can be helpful to instill the irrigating solution. Instilling a topical anesthetic can provide additional comfort before irrigation and examination of the eye. Care should be taken to irrigate the fornices to ensure that trapped chemicals are not missed. Magnesium hydroxide, which is present in sparklers and other fireworks can cause both a thermal and alkali injury. Before irrigation, a cotton tip applicator can be initially used to brush the dry magnesium out of the eye. Similarly, any superficial particulate matter from other chemical injuries should be removed with forceps or a cotton tip applicator. After irrigation, a thorough ocular examination can be performed including lid aversion, to detect any retained debris. The use of ointments is not recommended immediately after a chemical injury since this could result in potentially trapping retained chemicals and toxins. 
long-term clinical care and possible surgery should be discussed with the patient. Due to the loss of vision, the injured person may need physical guidance. There are many established and new treatment that can be used to enhance healing and reduce long-term complications of the chemical injury.